There's even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Wait. Oh, inter okay. That's going to be important. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Let, let's examine this place. Yeah, let's just check it out. Also, I love that there's just a fucking car door. <laughs> wow. Look at this big pile of junk in the corner. And comes like... in, he's like, ah, you mean my car door. <laughs> That looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was some sort of escape artist and esca some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Murderer. Better him than us. <laughs> I mean, yeah, You're not sure. wrong. Let's see this <laughs> suspicious thing here. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. <laughs> that said, uh, I bet that evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Oh, aren't we supposed to show the ID record to everyone who could have a number? Good point. Thank you for yeah. reminding me. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot, too. I bet he doesn't tuck his shirt under that trench coat either. Yeah, what a fucking idiot. If you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of him, pal. This man saved you from getting murdered by mafia members, Phoenix. You show him some, you show him some damn That's true. respect. All I'm trying to say is that gumfuck does a French tuck. That's 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 when you leave the front. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I got it. I got it. You, you rhyme gum. You rhyme fuck with tuck. I, mean, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I need to click that again. It wasn't that great. <laughs> uh, chat. I know we're we're gonna we'll look at his locker now. Oh Jesus, God! There's a lot of things going on in this room. Look, this one's open, and there's an indicator tag stuck on stuck on it still. That locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. <laughs> it's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Uh, there's the blood. Of oh, oh. Uh, what's this? Blood! Hurry, spray it with luminol. <laughs> it's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright, drink the luminol. <laughs> what if there are any other blood stains left in the room? Oh, please don't make me drink it again. Bottoms <laughs> up, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Open up. <laughs> Down the hatch. We should use her testing fluid to check it out. Okay. <laughs> Wake up. Drink. Sit down. Drink. <laughs> Crime scene. Drink. <laughs> Courtroom. Drink. <laughs> this place is stuffed with evidence. Stuffed with dreams. <laughs> I'm not so sure about the dreams. <laughs> it won't open. I guess I should have known. Hey, pal. Our security is high tech around here. Uh, okay. Which one's Gumshoe's locker? Do I do I actually have to click a specific locker? Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, I'm just gonna show him the thing. Somebody in the chat will tell me which one to click. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. That people came in here? <laughs> so, it was Goodman who came in here. Whoa! What is it? That second number! It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth. 
What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? What? Son of a gun. Shit. Son of a gun. What did my boyfriend do this time? <laughs> Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Okay. Hmm. Uh, spray this place. Oh, right, 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 right. Let's we'll spray this place. Uh, are we sure there's something else we can investigate? <laughs> yeah, there probably has got to be. Right? Well, maybe. I don't know. Oh, uh, the, the gloves. Floor. On the, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's you, okay. Oh, I remember wow. this piece of evidence. <laughs> wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? <laughs> God, show the man some respect, please. Jeez. I'm literally right here, pal. Come on. There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of hooligan. A slob of hooligan? That's apparently from the case. The case? The SL9 incident, pal. See the sticker on one of the pieces here? Another piece of SL9 evidence. Nah, forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Ha! <laughs> Good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. <laughs> God damn it. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. It, what? And luminol fluid. <laughs> well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Hey, puzzle time. Look at this, this 3D a, model. Is this a Professor Layton game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so this whole time we've played this, I have not had to use the actual uh, keypad or the actual buttons on the 3DS, I've been able to use my mouse to, to move everything. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, I see. Uh, I guess we have to find a thing that lines up with that crack. Mm -hmm. This could be something. Uh, okay, I think hi. that was it. Yeah, it's, uh, Do yeah 90, 90 degrees. This? No, one more. Weeha! Hey. Uh. Well, that could be it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Weeha! Nice. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ye -naw. Uh, there you go. That Ye -naw. one. Yeah, they shoot you for work. messing that up in Texas. <laughs> uh, that one now. Yeha! Yay! Yay. Now, we're, now we're hurting with fire. Now we swimming, boys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, that's not it. That's uh, not it. This is a really weird shape. Well, I think I maybe think this one. Yeah, that, one. That looks right. Yeah. Yep. Hey. Yeah. Look at us go. Oh, oh, uh, He's like very flat. Oh. Oh, and it's all the top. So it's yeah. yeah that's it. Bada bing. Uh -huh. Look at this. We're so that yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. we little, little like right as we start start to talk shit. Uh, like, let's there. make a fuck up. Yeah, hey, yeah, we're, we're, we're. Galaxy, Galaxy brain. brain. We're only like two pieces left, right? I think so. Yeah, that's okay. it. Galaxy hey. brain. Come on, one more. Galaxy hey. brain. Hey. What? Wow. Oh, there's <gasps> kind of, there's a missing piece. An unfinishable puzzle. Those bastards. <laughs> huh? Well, well, Luke, this reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> that was really good, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that was a good... Uh... That was absolutely dead on Layton. That was a good Layton. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. That only took me two minutes to do. The problem is finishing it. <laughs> what? We're... St were some of the pieces stolen? Hey, were you just... I bet they were missing to begin with. Wait, so we basically... So he said he spent three hours before giving up, but he got that part in two minutes. So he yeah. spent two hours and 58 minutes just being just, like, just looking at the it. last piece? He's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, did I put this together wrong? Huh? <laughs> uh, never mind. Still... 
It doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. Gumshoe, Gumshoe, you don't look like the most stable kind of person. <laughs> oh! Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. I kind of understand how it got broken. You what? Yeah. Look at that glove. Nice. Right. We got an. an wait, what's that? A, what was that in the evidence locker next to the? What? What was that in their evidence record next to the? Oh, just the lockers. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Someone left a glove here, but only one. Was it a latex glove? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, maybe? Stop! There you please. go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. Phoenix, this Phoenix. man saved your life. <laughs> That's evidence from the case, you know. If if Emma responds and says the the case question please. mark. Okay, thank oh, God. Damn it. You mean SO9. It. it does have a tag on it. All right. Uh, let's look at this you paint. What's evidence for getting? What is a saw and paint doing here? Oh, I do Since arts and crafts down here. <laughs> Since the dawn of time. What the fuck? I've been doing True that. art has always been a war against oppression. Wait, is he actually doing arts and crafts down here? Gumshoe, that's the yeah. most like brilliant philosophical thing I've ever heard you say. That True actually is a, a very impressive um, statement. Yeah. <laughs> he he is a true artistic soul. Slushy, He's a tortured soul. Slushy Blue in the chat says, Comrade Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> Rise true up and seize the means of paint. <laughs> true art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger? Yes, Comrade Badger. <laughs> well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? <laughs> Sp Spycheck says Gumshoe is secretly Banksy. <laughs> you know what Gumshoe was laughing, what Gumshoe was laughing about that right there? You what? know what they call me? Herd stew. <laughs> God damn it! Turd Not turd soup. soup. <laughs> turd soup. It's really I go funny. by my I go by my artist name, Palcaso. Ah, that was <laughs> good. That was good. <laughs> that was <worked> really good. <laughs> okay. I I mean. I, oh, we actually can't. It's like you really got you really got to squeeze it. Squeeze it. Pop it. Pop Pull it. it. Twist it. Go! Stab it. Stab it. <laughs> Twist it. Murder it. Hide it. <laughs> Run from it. Cross the border. <laughs> and your name. <laughs> Pin it on Meekins. <laughs> I knew it. This is someone's right hand print. What? Gumshoe. <laughs> Gumshoe. What's the matter, detective? D this locker. It's mine. It's yours? You've been here for three... How many hours? Please. You have to help me when they come to take me away. <laughs> Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. <laughs> did Gumshoe just say a cap? We got it, boys. Gumshoe he said did a cap. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Oh, shit, dude. What? But you're a detective. <laughs> that was incredible. Hilarious moment. That's a lot of blood. That is a lot of blood. There must there must have been a massive amount of blood here. I've never seen so much before. I'm not a professional. What's your profession? What's what's your opinion, detective? <laughs> I 
professional. What's your profession, detective? <laughs> uh, <Yeah>. detective? <laughs> hmm. Pale blue blood. I hate it was an it alien so who much. did it. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien? Okay. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey! If you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked! And then I think there's one more locker. Maybe the other side? Oh, it's the one with the thing sticking out of it. Yep. More blood. Really got to click that so much. <gasps> Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey. That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. And it hey, tastes you want... delicious. I was say, you want to drink some? <laughs> uh, Wes, you, you'll really appreciate this joke. Spy, jo the spy check in the chat, chat said, Hey, pal, I'm Gumshoe. I'm the himbo sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's, damn it. Chat, I, I need some more Gumshoe as Connor jokes because I'm trying to think of some and damn it. I really want who some would, more who would be his, uh Who would be his... Um... What's... <laughs> the himbo set by Cyber Life. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you're right. I love that joke. That's very good. <laughs> what, this? It's called Luminol Testing Fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some, too. <laughs> I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where did you get what? this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Fucking nerd. Call 1-800-LUMINOL-FLUID now. Well, I better jot this down on the floor plans. Same great taste. Same great <laughs> blood detection. <laughs> do, do you remember when luminol testing fluid tasted delicious? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Now, it's it's like, are you tired of having luminal testing fluid that tastes awful? And it's a bunch of like elderly white people drinking luminal and being like, oh, <laughs> well now you don't have to. Uh, and it's black and white, but then it gets color. Yeah. Classic, classic, classic. Uh, oh, <clears throat> Rust the Nerd says examine your evidence. Duh, we didn't even look at the fucking glove. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tag says SL911. I guess this is another piece of evidence from that case. You know, I never did care for the word tag. It's confusing. How so? What? <laughs> What's so confusing right. about that? Do you know how many other words sound like it? Bag, gag, nag, lag, Zag. Emma, you better not. Okay. Zag. Is that a word? Do you challenge me? What are we playing? <laughs> are we playing a word game? What is this dialogue? <laughs> that was it, folks. <laughs> All right. Um... That's what you're here for. <clears throat> uh, I don't think there's anything else. The Nothing. Put your head anything into the book. Inside the glug. Nope. Now, does it fit, or do we have to equip? To um, equip. <laughs> oh, can we examine the blood? Hey, look here. It's hard to make out, but there's a dark red stain here. It was pretty mm. easy to make out for me. This must have been a prehistoric ketchup bottle. <laughs> Looks like blood. Do you think Detective Goodman's blood somehow got on it when he was stabbed? When I was stabbing him? <laughs> Not oh, likely. Dang it. <laughs> Not likely. This blood looks like it's been here for months, maybe longer. This jar was evidence in the SL9 incident. That might be when the blood got on it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do we got? Can we look down into it? No. Secret compartment. I don't know. Huh? This thing doesn't have a bottom. Well, neither did I until I met Edward. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry. There, there it is. I, I heard the gears turning. You're yeah. like, how do I phrase this? Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's weird. I wonder which side is up. Whichever side Edgeworth tells me it is. God damn it. <laughs> Does that even work? <laughs> What's the purpose of a bottomless jar? At least it doesn't collect dust inside, right? No, it can still collect dust inside. Yeah, it's not. Dust clings to surfaces. It doesn't like flow out like water. <laughs> You're the dumbest the, scientist I've ever met. The river of dust. No, no, wait. That's Elon Musk. Never mind. Hey. 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 Is, he, is he been a scientist anymore? I don't know. Detective Goodman's note and that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. Today, is that in one of the, the games when Edgeworth, when you play as young Edgeworth? Oh, okay. Uh, no. I mean, he has another case before that, yeah. technically. So I guess this was his first big case, Ooh. quote unquote. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from the case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Okay. Oh, there we hey, go. Hey, here we go. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? Just like literally every fucking case? A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. <laughs> Actually, peace out, Lana. <laughs> the Zodiac the killer is still a, at large. But the killer made a mistake. And Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors? About forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So, so, that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? <clears throat> hey, pal, look at the time! Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to go give them my report for the, day, for the day. Wait a minute. Is that a character from a future game on that like pamphlet? Yes, it is. It's it is the, 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 well, at, by, at this time, the game had already come out. Oh, right, because this, this was made much later. Right, 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 right. Yes. Right, right. Yeah, it's Trebian. Yep. It might help, you know. Report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? <laughs> the one that says nothing but no problems? Don't worry. Be <laughs> happy. Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in it. <laughs> Holly just says, Mr. Armstrong threw the first brick at Stonewall. That's a fucking good joke, Halucha. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs enemies when you've got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. <laughs> I just realized what Phoenix said. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Security guard office. Move. Uh, entrance. <laughs> Underground parking lot. Thank you. <laughs> I hate that, like, I literally become a moron. Snoop, Snoop Dogg's <laughs> office. When I look at these. <sighs> what the fuck are what you doing fuck? here? <laughs> what were you? Yeah. Ah, guest. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Ah, uh, wow. Wow. Wow, Dick. The absolute disrespect. Huh? 
Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Also, good on you for being able to recall the exact voice you did for that guy <laughs> this long ago. <laughs> Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. <laughs> oh, shit, he's pissed. Ah, uh, it's you. He has the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? Precisely. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Oh, yes. He brought me some information, it seems. <laughs> really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Uh, I think the report is on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. I can hear you, by the way. <laughs> So, how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Isn't that technically what it was? <laughs> concealing evidence? Yes, apparently. There are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time again. <laughs> again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However... Something happened? They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes. Any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police, Gant. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you? Why? All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. You have a little to be ashamed of. Yeah, I mean, come on. Still, <laughs> I mean, I guess only when I killed that Detective Goodman. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Wow, I've it's never... It's those eyes, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Uh... Uh, present the the no, uh, the ID card thing. Yeah. Oh, right, because his thing's on this. Oh, right. I better check this now. As I was saying, I love... Wait, what were you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? A record of ID card usage? Usage? Edgeworth, you went, into the, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. And the body was found in your car. And it was and, and it was with a your history. knife. <laughs> and you have a history of being connected with murders. <laughs> Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. By Chief Gant, no less. So much of this case is a setup to is a setup to make Edgeworth look bad. It's yeah. insane. His the car, his knife. <laughs> he wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. Wait, wait, is that the screwdriver from the uh, Gatewater Hotel? Finally, we get to see it? I think so. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be, to, it would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. Unrelated evidence, screwdriver added to the court record. All right. Stubborn as always. I told you, this has nothing to do with the current case. Alright, uh, examine it. Oh, okay. <laughs> the 
Tag says AI 16. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing, apparently. At least that's what Edgeworth said. Hmm. That makes it seem all the more suspicious. Who knows? This might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I got a feeling. That would be very funny. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, present Goodman's note to him, too. Oh, okay. Oh, the evidence thing. The lost report? Lost item report? No, I, th I, think, I think it's the... I think it's the, um... The other thing. Yeah, the first note. Oh, the one that was found on the Yeah. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? <laughs> it it all has to do with that case you were on. The SL9 the DL, incident. The DL6 incident. <laughs> Shit, I, I'm getting my incidents mixed up. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life, as I recall. Okay. Well, hey. I, I mean, I, again, I also saved you from... No. Yeah. I think Pon Karma and Yadi Yogi revived the worst memory of your life. Yeah, really. Uh... <laughs> I there, I was there to make sure you didn't go to jail for it. I think, I think what you meant to say was, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for saving my ass after I tried to confess to a murder I didn't commit. <laughs> What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. Hmm? A bad memory? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, Edgeworth. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. All right. <sighs> you can't handle the truth. <laughs> The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too, then? He was the best we had, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. I don't know if I would call him a wacky old coot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why why was a deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. So I killed him myself. Damn it. And then there was re literally blood on my hands. <laughs> we won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't... Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. This time. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do not. I do have a code, and I follow ah, it faithfully. I do not have a code. I, I do, do not anything. have a code. <laughs> I will literally murder to get my verdict. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister? What? Are you still working on that... Scientific investigation? You still forcing people to drink luminol fluid? Because <laughs> <laughs> she said uh, you really have to stop that. Huh? Yes, of course. Do you want a sip? <laughs> Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this... Luminol testing fluid, hmm? I hear it tastes delightful. <laughs> well then, you might have a use for this. Is this a Ooh, dandelion? It's a snack to go down with aluminum fluid? A dandelion <laughs> and some pills? <laughs> aluminum powder for taking fingerprints? Wait, that's not a dandelion. What What do you call those things? Oh. A dandelion. Is it a dandelion? Yeah, but it's a, it's a, a mature dandelion that's ready to float its seeds. Oh, okay, so I was right. Cotton swab. A dandelion. It must <laughs> be the last one of the season. <laughs> it's been chemically treated for better adhesion. For me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. <laughs> I've no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Hey, here's the Edgeworth I like. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I, uh... 
Thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? I did, and he <laughs> ate them last time. Pantran just <laughs> Pantran in the chat just said, "Are those poppers?" Pantran, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not we poppers. Back, boys. <laughs> Those we are back. Not poppers. <laughs> Pop it. No. <laughs> not... Pull it. Push it. Pull it. Push it. Stop. Pull it. Stop. <laughs> wow. Horny jail. Now. <laughs> well, let's get going. One last investigation. Before more investigation. Right. I do seem to remember... A, <laughs> I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. Well. Back to the mother's room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't know what happened to my voice there. Our investigation Our has turned up a suspicious handprint. Here, in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. You ready to blow, Zach? I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, there's a setting where you can, like, turn on your microphone on the emulator, I think. Oh, boy. Uh, I, 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 have had to, I had to do this with uh, Ace and Turdy Investigations. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's get started. First, choose a finger. I'm going to go to Horning Jail. A finger? <laughs> no! <laughs> Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. Also, gross, Zach. <laughs> so, let's choose the finger that will have left behind the clearest print. I really can't tell the difference at a really? glance. You can't? Quit procrastinating, quit procrastinating and choose a finger. I'm I sorry. Mean, I'm sorry for that joke, everybody. I really am. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. Let me get this for the court record. Sparkle added to court record. <laughs> First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? Well, Phoenix, how do you think? <laughs> Just touch the screen. See? <laughs> ah, looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well and spread... You put one finger over one nostril of your nose and put the open <laughs> nostril next to the powder... <laughs> <laughs> then you and then inhale. you inhale sharply. Yeah, it, it, yeah, cocaine jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's not a Zach's not impressed. First. No, no, I mean, like, like I was like, it's only a matter of time before somebody makes a cocaine joke. <laughs> well, well, hey, cocaine joke. Huh? How do I do that? You just blow with your breath. <laughs> Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. Phoenix, you. Phoenix just, just goes around blowing on everybody. Turns out <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is great. Turns out Phoenix Phoenix doesn't breathe. <laughs> Phoenix fun. has never had a Phoenix has never had a birthday cake. <laughs> no. It won't go up your nose or anything unless you want it to. <laughs> Hey, back you, okay. Yeah, there we go. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess I better give it a try. Uh, well, we're yeah, just gonna put spread. it everywhere. Spread it. Spread okay. it on thick. No. No, there's something that like allows you to use connected physical microphone. Yes, that. Well, it's not doing it. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry for everyone's ears right now. <laughs> the, the chat's saying Zach ASMR. <laughs> oh, it's doing something. Oh, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, it's here's here, it's it's not your uh it's probably not your headphones. Mm -hmm. It's probably something on the computer. So oh. just yell. Just yell. Oh, 
that came to mind to do. <laughs> now you have to do that for every one now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's how Phoenix blows. Oh. <laughs> That's also like one of those G.I. Joe things. Yeah. That's the one that ends with the oh. G.I. Joe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fuck, that was funny. Aha, you did it. <laughs> you found one. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? What does it mean? Double fingerprint? It, think it thinks it means. <laughs> We're out of luck. That's a typo, right? Oh, it has to be. <laughs> out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Hmm. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Don't tell me I hold for nothing. <laughs> hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Yeah, like the Looking son of the king. Look at the locker door again closely. <laughs> My jokes suck. Oh. <laughs> Chris, welcome to the Gregorian chant section of, the sh of our stream. <laughs> <laughs> Giant penguins is Zekorian chanting. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm. Fingerprints outside of the blood. So the, the, the oh, pinky, right? No, it's no the, the one at the bottom oh, of the paint one right there. Yeah. Here we go. We get another one. <laughs> So much pressure on this now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! A print so clear it's dazzling. D dazzling. Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. <laughs> a lot of effort. A lot of. <laughs> Phoenix is like, oh, okay. I think I think my pipes are getting. I'm 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 feeling good. We need another print. I can do it. I can do it. I sort of Oche is getting there. <laughs> Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet? This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data oh, we got God. from what Mr. Edgar. Here now? Compare and point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So, whose fingerprints would we most likely find on this evidence locker? Oh, it's Gumshoe. Hey. Look at that. King of the Himbos, pal. <laughs> Fantastic. Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Why is that his picture? <laughs> He's just pissed. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you, pal. How dare you get my prints, pal? <laughs> this is an invasion of privacy. <laughs> Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? <laughs> okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Check it out. Uh, that was on this locker? Was it? On the one with the... The, the thing hanging out? Yeah, the... Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Court record. So we... It's this thing. Wait. Uh, I think you have to examine the you locker. You have to examine the locker, then it'll probably give you the option. Bloop. 
This is where we got a luminol fluid reaction, right? Right. There was a handprint here. Okay. Want to try using this? There go her eyes sparkling again. Nah. Now let's go home. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. Luminol is extremely... Er, <laughs> this aluminum powder is extremely deadly. Don't what? touch it or you'll die. What? <laughs> the area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical Sorry. means. Mm, we only ended up finding it using chemical means. Oh, that's right. Damn it. Shit. <laughs> I got you. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away, too. Oh, right. So that means no prints? Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? I don't know. I asked you, Emma. What the fuck? Don't ask me! Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Okay, well, we just... We just go here, right? I would say so, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. You ready, everybody? Go. Oh... Yeah, Beautiful. we go. Beautiful. Uh, so it's not good, man. Could be Meekins. Could be. It could be Gantz. Yeah, I mean. I mean, you have I, infinite tries. Yeah. I mean, you could easily just go down the line. Yeah, let's just try Gantz. All right. Let's do this. It's it's Jake Markle. Jake Jake Marshall's handprint. Jake Markle. Angela Merkel. <laughs> I was trying to make that work. Hey, these fingerprints. They... Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's yours. <laughs> it's Officer Marshall. Huh? huh? Uh, Officer Jake Marshall? That's got to be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma, these are decidedly Wake different. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> these are decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminol reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh. Oh! So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a wiped blood stain. They shoot you for that in Texas. <laughs> but why would Officer Marshall... It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. <laughs> I, I don't believe it. Believe it. Naruto, get it? My attorney way. <laughs> Woo! Hey -o. We, we did it, folks. Um, really look quick. At us, uh, look at us go. Make sure I save. We're going to save here. All right. Uh, are we doing fan art first or uh, fan let's, fiction let's first? Let's do art. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Let me scroll all the way. Oh, oh my shit. God. There was 160 messages when we were playing. Don's son made some Ace Attorney icons. Really cute. I love those. Very good. Really cute. <laughs> Clumsily JoJo drew Dr. Pharma. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> With two eye patches. <laughs> I just realized there are two eye patches. Oh, thank my you, God. Thank you. With with the smartest and fastest of his parrots. <laughs> oh, we got Kobe. We got Kobe Fuck and then yeah. colored and then colored Kobe. Kobe. Don's son with Kobe, the fastest and smartest of the cobras. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I love how the examiner thought that was an important enough detail to put into the question. <laughs> <laughs> that it wasn't just any old Kobe that escaped. It was Kobe, the fastest <laughs> of the smartest. <laughs> 
Oh, uh oh, Zach. It looks like it looks like Meekins is moving in on your man. <laughs> Listen, Meekins would love to fucking <laughs> really, really good Pantran. Thank you. Uh, oh shit! What is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. You want to do the the voices for this uh, Meekins and Jake? Damn. Did you say Meekins is huge. Uh, yes. He is tall. <clears throat> I never did properly thank you for taking care of my cacti. Just, just my chops, sir. <laughs> Was really good. That's really fucking good. Oh, I just realized the cactus says Mike Jr. on it. <laughs> Aww. Fucking cute as shit. <laughs> AGM style yes! through a sonic snake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Gotta go fast. Now that, that is the fastest of them all. It's really good. Gotta go fast. Uh, blue dropped. We've got... Two new arts. <laughs> he asked <It's>... for <laughs> he asked for no pickles. <laughs> Still no pickles. <laughs> oh, there's crazy Emma being oh, like it was oh, all oh. up the side. Oh, okay. It's like, it's Dong and Rampa, Emma. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. Oh my god, fucking <laughs> good crossover. Yes. Uh, that kind of artist drew the Anytown, Ohio Letterman. <laughs> yes. See, that's I would wear the shit Fucking out of that. Good. Actually, wait, so, wait. What's the? Is the insignia a gun and a Molotov cocktail? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's really fucking good. <laughs> oh, you know what we do need. You know what we need Zach. Hmm. Fucking this is obvious. We need T-shirts that says "Pot Smokers for Peter." We sure do. We sure do. Uh, like that's that is that has to happen. Yeah, we we actually do need to get that. That is, uh, uh, yeah. Fuck. Well, that's add it well, to the list. You heard it here first. Uh, <laughs> Look at the little stun killing. Stun killing. I love that it's. <laughs> it is just like it's, it's like a four like cactus creature with a taser just strapped to it yeah and a cravat and a cravat and a cravat. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a taser strapped to it is really really good it just, it just runs at you with the taser attached to its head <laughs> oh and we it's got the we got great. the evolution cac oh, sure. taser so, stun killing gra glass grass electric dang whoa that's fucking cool. Cack Taser fucking kicks ass. Also, Cack Taser is very much lady. <laughs> it does. It does have the hat. Would you like me to tase you, my lady? Oh no! I hate no. That. Uh, <laughs> the fuck. The fact that there's like tasers between the the hands and the very tail and the teeth is radical. You got uh -huh. a lot of electricity going on. Is there is there an electric bite move in the game? I don't think there is. I think it's just Fire Fang and Ice Fang. Uh, chat, tell me if I'm wrong. Jason, tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> we got Judge really Phoenix. Good. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's, That's very good. Argument, bullshit, snark. I am at my... <laughs> I am at my fucking limit. <laughs> <laughs> also... <laughs> Aww. It says gavel 10k. <laughs> we got Luminowl. Luminowl. <laughs> That's oh. fucking cute as shit. <laughs> oh my god. It looks, like it looks like a Furby made out of a Luminol bottle. <laughs> a little bit. Pantran. Whoa! Welcome to Anytown, Ohio. It's better than prison, but you might still end up there. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love On fire wing huts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of pot uh, leaves and Kobe. Fucking Kobe, man. The fat, the smartest and fastest of the, of the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh like, shit. Mel the B- cactus is coming at you. <laughs> Mel BWG. <laughs> your face painted on the cactus. Yeah. And the taser. <laughs> Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Apparently Thunder yes. Fang does. Yes! Thunder, Fang, Thunder Fang does exist, by the way. There we go, Thunder Fang. As- Asufa, thank you so much. Oh, shit. Can thank you-, you so fucking much. Can you give me the read on that? Hiya, pal. Name's Gumshoe. I'm an android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Actually, you have a pretty good uh, what's-his-face impression, too, don't you? Who's what's- which what's-his-face? Uh, his partner, Mr. Krabs. Glass Glass Gecko dropped a, a super legit snake. Actually, when looking at it at a small distance, I thought it was a 3D model. I'm oh, wait, sca- that is a... I'm scary, hiss, hiss. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, unnecessary feelings, huh? Shut up before I piss in your mouth. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that really hurt, pal. S- sorry, buckaroo. <laughs> that one's really cute. They're dead serious. <laughs> Emma, someone died. Read the room. <laughs> Read the damn room, yes. Emma. Hey, pal, I'm the himbo sent from Cyberlife. That's how I think it was Triton who originally made that joke. Thank you for that. It's a really good. Seriously, that makes me so happy. Oh, fuck. OK, so this is this is intentionally bad Spanish Phoenix. Yes. <laughs> Hola, caballeros. Kieran Morir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, no. <laughs> I just like hello gentlemen. Do you guys want to die? <laughs> <laughs> Point of view, I I post art. Here we go. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> I like this. This is really dope, JoJo. <laughs> I love it. I I like, yeah, my like worried face. Wes is like, fuck yeah, please. (laughs) Oh my God. All right, is it time for that fic? Uh, it is time for the fanfic, which actually, chat, uh, somebody somebody linked that to the chat so we can get more views on it, but I do actually have it pulled up so we can just show it on screen during the stream. Uh, this <laughs> this, this, this one, is true partner. This is by Roosh the Nerd in our Discord. Thank you so Thank much for you. this. Uh, here we go. Uh, Pridge, if you'd like to read all the narration, uh, I will read uh-huh. myself, <laughs> and uh, Wes, you can read Jake. Uh, okay, uh-huh. where is the best place for me to... Oh, here we go. Zach's streaming it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, okay, we ready? <laughs> yes. Take it away. Zach was inundated with the sights of Los Angeles. He had just moved to Japanifornia <laughs> and wanted to familiarize himself with his neighborhood but he found himself lost in the big city, lost in admiration for the juxtaposition of the straight edge modernist buildings and the curved roofs of, roofs of the Buddhist architecture. <laughs> <laughs> he had found himself lost in an unfamiliar place. Zach pulled out his phone to open up Google Maps, but found it dead. Oh no. He stuffed the phone into his pocket and took a few deep breaths. Okay, Zach. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I asked you. I... It's okay, Zach. You just need to ask one of the nice people around you. I don't know why I'm like, <laughs> I know they're not that different, but I was like doing Phoenix's voice there. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around at the sparse crowd, he tapped the shoulder of the nearest person. 
Hey, I... The man walked away before Zach could start his sentence. <sighs> Damn, hate to see it. Mm-hmm. Shaking his head and gathering himself once more, Zach tried asking someone else. This... This time, he was me with a hand in the face. I think it was supposed to be he was met with I a met. hand in the face. Met. Yeah, there we go. At least I wasn't ignored this time. He tried again and again, and with each attempt, his shoulders sank lower and lower. Sad, Zach. Soon, the oranges and purples of the sunset painted the glass facades of the unfamiliar buildings, and Zach's shoulders had set as low as the sun. Nice. He had no idea where he was, no clue how to get home, and no food in his belly. Sounds just like gumshoe. (laughs) Seeing the red light of a Wendy's sign, at least he could solve one of his issues. Trudging through the doors and up to the cash register, Zach made his order. Uh, That'll be uh, $13.69. Nice. (laughs) Zach went to pull out his wallet, but found nothing. He checked his other pocket, and then his jacket pocket. He kept checking the same four pockets over and over, each time more and more frantic. I I had it in my pocket. It has to be somewhere here. Sir, sir, this is a Wendy's, not a food bank. I can't take your order if you can't pay. Uh, it, it probably just fell out of my pocket outside. Let me go check. Zach ran out the doors onto the street. He ran up and down the street, weaving through the fitting crowd of tourists and people going home from work. Still, his wallet was nowhere to be found. Oh no. Still holding on to some hope, he was wandering he was wandering aimlessly, hoping to stumble onto his wallet when he heard a loud click. Zack found himself across from the Wendy's, staring as the last employee left the building, closing up for the <sighs> night. As he stood there, someone bumped into him, and he fell back onto the ground. The cement scraped against his palms, and a jolt ran up from his arms as he caught himself. The culprit didn't so much as glance back as he picked up his his now-cracked phone. (sighs) Zack sat there, staring at his phone, his back against the chilled metal facade of a building, as the people enjoying the nightlife passed him without so much as a glance. Damn. He had no way to get home, no way to talk to every, to anyone, and not even a way to get food. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was getting into to pretending to look at my phone to act. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen any of my friends for a year. My family is cr- across the country. I'm, a com- I'm completely alone, and for what? I'm trying to chase these dreams of becoming a big-time YouTuber. But what does that even mean? I have no clue what I'm doing. I just want to go home. Zach was staring at the pavement on the verge of tears. The streets now dark. Only street lights and store signs lit the area. Through his blurry vision, he saw a pair of cowboy boots stop in front of him. (laughs) Wiping his eyes, a cowboy hat filled his vision as the man in front of him kneeled down. The man looked up to meet his gaze, and Zack was mesmerized. The man's strong jawline was decorated with perfectly maintained scruff. His brown eyes gleamed in the streetlight with a calm, unconcerned look. His lips, ever so slightly upturned into a smirk. (laughs) All of that was framed by a curtain of velvety brown hair, and as he opened his mouth, the deep tones of of his dulcet voice resonated with Zack's heart. Hey there, partner. Something been rustling your cattle? Sorry, I've just been having a bit of a rough day. Well, let's see if it's not some old Jake Marshall can't fix. Jake stood up and offered his hand to Zack. He grabbed Jake's hand and was pulled up off the sidewalk. He stood there a moment, enjoying the warmth of Jake's hand through his black fingerless gloves before before abruptly dropping the hand and introducing himself. Thanks. I'm Zack Schneider. No relation to the movie guy. Zack, huh? Is this here badge yours? He held up a wallet. I just found it a bit up the trail. Zack took the wallet and looked inside. Everything was still there. 
Relief flooded over Zack, and the knot in his stomach evaporated. Tears welled up as the tension left his body. Thank you so much. Sorry for this. It's just been a long day. I just moved here, and... Sorry, you don't need to hear about how my day sucked. Zack went to go wipe away his tears and get himself together, but Jake grabbed his hand. Holding Zack's arm in one hand, Jake rested the other on his cheek. Zack could feel the smooth, glo- the, s- the smooth glove over his stubble. He stared into Jake's eyes as he felt a callous thumb wipe the tear from his cheek. If you try to dam a river forever, one day it'll break free and take you along with it. Jake pulled Zack in as he surrendered to the warm embrace, letting it all out. He cried into Jake's shoulder. The loneliness, the frustration, the sadness... It all came out, and Jake didn't let go. When the tears stopped flowing, Jake pulled back. He tied the red handkerchief from his neck and dabbed Zack's face dry. Everybody has those days where all you strike is the fool's gold. And sometimes you just gotta be a fool and treat it like real gold. After all, at least I met you, partner. Yeah, I guess me m- meeting you makes t- today worth it. It was difficult to speak for Zack when faced with that smile. Let me take you down to my favorite watering hole. Down in Texas, you never let a guest go without putting grub in their bazoo. They got some mighty fine sarsaparilla down there. Jake reached around and grabbed Zack's shoulder, leading him down the street into the food district. As they walked, Jake pointed out popular destinations, local favorites, and tourist traps. A variety of smells overcame Zack as they walked through. There was the sweet and slightly astringent scent of caramelized onions coming from a vegan smash burger place, mixing with the salty umami of the ramen broth on the noodle cart nearby. They passed oven brick pizza, sushi, tacos, takoyaki, and so much more before they finally landed in front of their destination. Chilies. <laughs> A table for me and my partner. They were led to their table, and before Zack could sit down, Jake pulled out a seat for him and gestured. Zack took the seat, a pinkish blush creeping across his cheeks. They talked a bit more about the city before the waiter arrived. Oh, what can I get for you? Give me the usual grub. Uh, I'll have whatever he's having. Dan? Zack said, trying to make out the name on the name tag. The waiter cocked his head, confused. Sorry, most people don't read the name tags. As the waiter awkwardly walked away, Zack shrugged and turned back towards the man of his dreams. Zack asked a few more questions of Jake, but he wasn't really paying attention to the answers. (laughs) All he could focus on were the soft lips and limpid eyes in front of him. With each sentence out of Jake's mouth, the lasso of love tightened around Zack's heart. Yes, the lasso of love. His trance was only broken when their order was brought out. There was two (laughs) plates of what vaguely looked like ribs, a bottle of A1 steak sauce, and two tall glasses of amber. Not sure about the food, Zack sipped some of his drink. After his first drink, he stopped and looked questioningly at at, at the drink. Apple juice? (laughs) Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the best happy juice this side of Mississippi. Jake said as he doused his food in A1. Shrugging, Zach kept drinking. They continued to talk over dinner and Zach explained what had happened to him that day. Jake sat there and raptured as if he was memorizing each word that came out of Zach's mouth. As the night went on, they kept talking and sharing jokes and stories. It was late into the night by the time they stood up to leave. Your camp is a ways over yonder from here. You can lay out by my fire tonight. Thanks for everything. There's nothing I wouldn't do to help a handsome feller like you. Blushing, Zach walked alongside Jake. Jake kept talking about cowboys, cacti, and Texas as they walked along. Zach was pretty sure that Jake... <laughs> <laughs> Zach was pretty sure that Jake had never actually been to Texas, but he couldn't bring himself to call out that sultry voice. 
that's so good. <laughs> they were getting close to Jake's apartment when rain started to fall. Before Zach could say anything, Jake unclasped his poncho and wrapped it around Zach. Then he took off his hat and placed it on Zach's head. Think. Zach's voice caught as he noticed the badge on Zake's, on Jake's now obvious police uniform. Jake followed his line of sight and noticed him staring at the badge. Are you part of that A-cab crowd? Zach had no idea how to respond. He didn't want to upset someone who had done so much for him, who selflessly helped him, who was so hot. But he didn't want to lie either. It's okay. In fact, it's true. All cops are bottoms. <laughs> Though I'd top for you. So what do you say? You want to ride this cowboy? Zach didn't respond. He closed his eyes and leaned towards Jake. He felt Jake's hot breath on the side of his neck as he whispered into his ear. Let's save this for the rodeo. Jake grabbed Zach's hand and they ran down the street. Through the rain, with fingers entwined, to go have a rodeo. Oh my god, Roosh, thank you so much. Brilliant. Uh... <laughs> The, that was very funny. Perfectly the, tying literally every inside all of our joke bits. about this. <laughs> all of our bits were in there. Oh my god, that's so good. Also, Mar Maro to Platypus donated 100 bits. Thank you so much. One more shout out. Of course. Uh, AGM <laughs> Styles, I know, donated multiple times. Chronite donated multiple times. Uh, Makumichi, obviously, the, the crazy 800 plus dollar donator. Uh, Triton was on the list. We've got uh, Damon Gant lended us the 50 bucks. I forgot about that. <laughs> Thank you, Damon. Uh, that, one was, that one was Giant Penguin. Incredible. Yes. Right. Thank you, Giant Penguin, for that. Uh, Shadow Navi, Saxy Whistle Snail, and Sibylla as well. Uh, all thank you so, 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 so much. Seriously. Uh, this was really incredible. Thank you, everybody, so much for truly a stream that I don't think will ever be topped in some way. Uh, this was absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for supporting us. Uh, again, this this doing this show has been so much fun for us, and knowing that it means a lot to all of you makes it all the more special for us to do. Um, if you like this show, you can watch it every. Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time right here on twitch.tv slash save data team. If not, no worries. The VODs will go up on the following Monday and Tuesday. Uh, if you'd like, please join our Discord, which is where you can see all of the beautiful fan art that gets, gets posted. Also, the fanfics now that get posted uh, a full half to a full week early. Um, and uh, I think that is going to do it. So until next time, court is adjourned.